Uh, look, today is a very sad day. I condemn in the strongest possible terms this Islamophobic decision of Sanghi Arabia, sorry, Saudi Arabia to ban abaya from school exam halls. In fact, I was to lead a candlelight march from JNU to the Saudi embassy right now. But it had to be deferred at the last moment because despite frantic reminders and calls, none of my activist friends fighting against a hijab ban in Indian school exam halls agreed to join me. All those radio jockeys who are more out of tune than a braying Jenny, those kitty party journalists who file nails instead of reports, those Nobel Prize winners who advocate beheadings instead of weddings, all those Bollywood actresses surviving on money thrown at them when they dance in front of a Bharat, and all those unemployed strategists who use Photoshop to become well-rounded personalities. None of them agreed to join me. Sell a V. I hope now at least the converts realize they cannot be more Catholic than the Pope. Now, but to be serious, Rahul, this exposes the rampant hypocrisy and virtue signaling we witness every day in this country. That didn't even escape. The Honorable Supreme Court judge, as you mentioned, who said banning hijab betrayed the trust the minority has reposed on the majority. What is the faith? The minority reposed on majority that you will not have a school uniform. B. The judge claimed the ban on hijab is an invasion of privacy. Is it a school pupil's right? To wear anything and come to school? Is the state invading someone's privacy when the face or bodily features need to be checked for security reasons? See, the judge added, discipline is necessary but it cannot be at the cost of freedom. Well, what else is discipline at the cost of if not freedom? By definition, discipline is at the cost of freedom. Can a jam student demand he come naked to school? Can NDA cadets Say they will attend classes in pajamas and nighties. Can a Muslim woman swimmer claim that she must be allowed to uh, take a part in a competition, swimming competition, wearing a burqa? And the irony is that I myself, Rahul, you know this, from day one, have believed that the hijab ban is untenable because the phrase essentiality in religion is nonsensical according to me. What is and what isn't essential has been defined by Allah himself and Allah has explicitly ordered how women should dress 24, 31, 33, 59. No court can say Allah's commandment is not essential. And number two, the hijab ban is selective. There should be one rule and no duplicity in implementing it. So a school can ban hijab because it has a specific rule of a uniform. But it cannot at the same time allow unconcealed janehu, kada, cross, circumcised organ or turban. If a school allows for dress codes or identities of other religions, it has to allow for Islam. No duplicity, Rahul, just 20 seconds. Our Chauti fail activists are promoting oppressive dress code because they hate Modi's school uniform guideline. Modi hatred has transformed progressives into psychopaths. Now they say, pehle hijab, phir kitab. Let's hope Modi doesn't start promoting pranayam. Ye to saans lena ban kar denge, Rahul.